to testify. <laughs> I hear this song and it hits something in me that I'm trying to keep buried. Bring it out, bring it out. I had the kind of life, I had the kind of love that men will climb mountains for, swim oceans for, go to the drugstore to buy feminine products. I'm talking about the real thing. I'm talking about real love. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm too dumb, man. I am stupid. I had to see how far I could take it. I, I, I'd stay out late. You know, I'm a musician. She'd never say anything about it. I'd stay out later and later. I might be gone for days at a time. She never said anything. Finally, one morning, I... Okay, I'll tell the truth. One afternoon, I woke up. <laughs> and she came She came into the bedroom with the, my shirt in her hands. It had lipstick on it. She said, David, you, you can't do me like this. And I said, You don't own me. <laughs> Anybody here ever said that or had it said to them, can I get a witness? That's some stupid shit that you don't want me shit. You know, but she she didn't cry, she didn't make a scene, she didn't yell, she didn't say but one single word. She looked at me, she said, right. And that's all she said, but it's not all she did. She went to the closet and got out those heels, you know. Knocked me over and fucked me once, you know those. <laughs> she got out the see-through blouse. She got out a little mini skirt that one looked like a wide belt. And she started hitting the clubs, man. And I don't know if you, any of you have ever, I hope none of you have ever had the painful experience of finding yourself working a room where the best looking woman is working at two and she's she used to be your own. What happened out of this is the girl learned two things. She learned two things. There's two things a woman learned. She learned two things. You understand me? The first thing that she learned was that she could get men a whole lot easier that I could get women. That was the first thing. She the second thing she learned was that she didn't need my ass around that apartment for any reason whatsoever. I come home one morning, I find everything I own in brown Safeway bags outside the door, new box, I'm history. Goodbye, so long as I Well, you know, they say you don't miss your water until you're well run dry. <laughs> And I woke up. I, I found out what it was I lost. And you might think it's really stupid of me to open myself up like this. She might walk in. And I, I kind of hope she does. I want her to hear what I have to say. I, I know if she comes, you know, she, she'll probably come not to an angel band show because I, I don't always get to play with angel band. I don't know too many of the tunes. <laughs> but if she comes to one of my shows, I know she'll come with some guy with no neck, you know, look like Jose Canseco. <laughs> and she'll sit right down front and talk through every damn song I sing. <laughs> I, I know she will do that. She'll be poking the guy next to her and say, look at that fool up there begging for what I'm sitting on. I know she will do that. <laughs> but I don't care, I want her to come. I want her to know that I won't play those games no more. That I'm a new man. I don't think I can say too much more about this. Um, <laughs> Allie, will you sing it for me? Talk for me. Testify for me. Thank you, David. I knew what you were trying to say is this.